Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Today we will see how to do wiring and programming of Delta CP2000 VMD. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here we have the drive terminals and we are using a potentiometer for frequency reference. A selector switch for reverse. For start and stop, we have used a NO and NC push buttons, 3 wire configuration. And a selector switch for auto manual selection. First, let's see the potentiometer wiring. In the potentiometer, the arrow marks the analog output, and 1 and 3 is the 0 volt and 10 volt power supply. The potentiometer connection we give the 10 volt to 10 volt and 0 volt in ACM, analog common, like this. The analog output is connected to AVI, analog voltage input. For analog input selection, we have a dip switch. Control terminal wiring. Delta drives are by default in NPN mode. That is 0 volt is common. In this DCM, digital common. All the push button and selector switch common is given to DCM. Like this. The second point from the reverse selector switch is given to reverse. And then we connect the second point of stop button to the first point of start button, like this. Then from the second point of start button, we give it to the forward. And from the center point of the start and stop buttons, we give to the MI1, multifunction input 1. Now the second point of the auto selector switch is given to MI7. Now the wiring is complete. Now the parameters. First we will reset all parameters to default values. To default set parameter 00-0229 Then parameter 00-20 Source of master frequency command We set to 2 External analog input Then parameter 00-21 Source of operation command We set to 1 Operation from terminals Then parameter 01-12 That is acceleration time And then parameter 01-13 that is deacceleration type. Both these parameters are to be set as per customer requirement or application. Then parameter 02-00 operation mode. We set to 2 for 3 wire. Then parameter 02-07 multifunction input function setting. We set to 42 auto switch. The parameters are done now. Now we have completed the settings ready to run the drive. So guys that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and it was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you will not miss any notification for the future videos. Take care guys, see you in my next video. Adios amigos.